Move your car, but I can't see the custards. Hi, I'm Shane with the Drum Center of Portsmouth in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. We are on the web at drumcenter.com. We are the largest independently owned drum store in the world, and all the drums and cymbals that you see featured here today are going to be available for purchase in the links below. Today we are featuring three gloriously beautiful drum sets from the British Drum Company. Now these are stunning, and I'm so excited for you to get to hear these. I have a real passion for people who are passionate about making drums and being able to do it at such a high level of quality. But what really impresses me is when a company can do that and scale it. I was fortunate enough to visit the factory uh, a few years back and it really left an indelible impression on me. When I was watching the attention to detail that went into manufacturing, it really just blew me away. And, and I've said it before, I'll say it again, I've never seen a drum company so focused on making a drum shell so perfect that it almost didn't need glue. Every single ply is lined up individually, one at a time, and the shell is perfect. And not only do they make their shells, they made the molds to make the shells. And it's just an amazing operation, really impressive. But what really matters is the sound. And if there's anything that they do well is they make a kick-ass sounding set of drums. Okay, so let's talk about the details of these three British Drum Company kits that we're showcasing today. For a lot of you, this level of detail might not be too important, but for somebody like me, or for a lot of us who work here, or a lot of our customers, we really appreciate the attention to detail and the fact that you can feel like somebody who actually cared about making these instruments put thought into them and made them with their hands. And the details are what separate, in my opinion, a very good drum set from an excellent drum set. British Drum Company's Founders Reserve series are their ultra high-end flagship line. These are kits that are more or less one-offs where they have a crazy idea that something might look or sound cool and they do it. They might get a small batch of a special veneer in. The ebony outer veneer on this gorgeous one-up, two-down configuration is really, really nice. Sizes are 12 by 8 rack tom, 14 by 14, and 16 by 16 floor toms with a 22 by 16 inch bass drum. All of the drums featured today are their 10 ply, 6 millimeter cold press burt shells. They are very dynamic, they have a lot of body, and they tune up or down really well. The aesthetics of the kit are just S tier. They're really, really nice. On the outside of the shells, you have the British Drum Company badge, and you also have the Special Edition Founders Reserve Series badge, which is incredibly intricate. But then, if you look on the inside of the shell, uh, that's what's even more impressive to me. You essentially have three different badges on the inside of the shell. You have a nice reflective badge with your serial number on it. You have the British Drum Company logo on a wooden badge. And then you also have a cutout of the Founders Reserve Series badge inside the shell as well. The washers that they use on the inside of the drum are all laser etched wood. Another small detail that I appreciate is that they use hex screws for the lugs so that you're not in danger of stripping them out if for some reason you wanna polish your shells and take the lugs off, things like that. They're the small details that you might not notice right away, but as you dig into these drums, you can tell that a lot of thought was put into them. The snare drum that we're using with this kit is a beast. It is Nico McBrain's signature talisman snare drum. This is a two millimeter seamless spun British steel shell. It has round over bearing edges and 42 strand wires with 2.3 millimeter triple flange tubes. Tony picked out all the symbols for these kits and uh, what he chose for the first kit are really nice in my opinion. We've got Pisties. We've got a pair of 16 inch Giant Beat hats. We have a 20 inch Giant Beat crash. On the right side, we have a 22 inch Big Beat all purpose symbol. And for the ride, we have a 22 inch 2002.
no, no. Up next is the three-piece Legend Ultra Series club kit in what they're calling the Donington Finish. Donington. Donington. Boy, it be Donington it be. Adam. We have a 13 by 9 tom with a mount. We have a 16 by 16 floor tom and a big old 24 by 16 kick drum. The Legend Ultra series are like their Legend series, but they feature a more intricate finish. It has a black ash outer veneer with a cherry wood central stripe, and it's accented with hand cut matching pinstripes. I really like the look of this kit. This thing looks badass, and it sounds huge. To kind of show you the versatility of these drums, and honestly to hear what we wanted to hear, we swapped out the stock overhead drum heads that come on the Legend and Founders Reserve series for these Aquarian Studio X heads. So we swapped out the toms and the snare drum. And for the kick drum, we swapped out the batter head with a Force White Aquarian head. The snare drum we're using is a gorgeous 1.2 millimeter seamless aluminum Aviator snare drum. It has the 2.3 triple flange tubes and brass snare wires, which is a nice touch. The badge has a cherry wood accent to it, which again, small attention to detail, but something that I really appreciate. And for the cymbals, we've got big cymbals. We've got 15 inch Meinl Byzance traditional hi-hats. We've got a big old Byzance 19 inch brilliant medium thin crash. On the right side, a 20 inch Byzance traditional medium crash. And for the ride, we have a big 24 inch medium ride. Okay, now what probably most of you are here for is this seven piece Founders Reserve Birch kit. I had the privilege of unboxing this kit and when I took out the first rack tom and I saw the figuring on this fumed eucalyptus wood, um, it's just mesmerizing. You have a natural clear lacquer, center stripe, Above and below that, you have a darker lacquer, which really brings out the figuring on this wood. It's very ribbon-like, and it's accented with two hand-cut black and white pinstripes on each drum as well. I mean, my words can't do justice, and hopefully the video I shot does. The sizes are 8x7, 10x7, 12x8 rack toms, a 14x14 14 14 and 16x16 16 16 inch floor tom, a 22x16 inch bass drum, and this perfectly sized 20 by 8 gong drum. I really like this thing. We don't usually carry a ton of gong drums in the store and when I heard this, especially through the mics, it is wild. This is a cool, cool accent to have on your kit and it really kind of opens up 
a whole bunch of possibilities for playing ideas. Um, Tom was fortunate or unfortunate enough to be put on the spot to kind of play this seven piece layout with the 14 on the left and the 16 on the right, and then the gong drum kind of hanging over that. I think he did a really good job. So uh, way to go, Tom. The snare drum that we decided to choose to go along with this kit is another Nico McBrain signature series. This is the Icarus. The shell of the Icarus is made up of 10 cold pressed plies of dense black oak. 45 degree bearing edges with 42 strand wires. This shell cracks like a metal snare drum. It is really nice, very dynamic. The symbols on this kit are also made by a very small group of artisans who love what they do. These are Koide symbols, or maybe it's Koide. I don't know, I, I don't know, I'm sorry. The hats, we have 15 inch 10 J's, which feature an unlathed hammered part of the symbol on top and then lathing on the outside. These ones also feature um, our logo on them for some reason. I'm not sure. Up here on the left, we have an absolute 17 inch thin crash. We have a 20 inch 703 crash ride. And on the right side, we have a 10J 22 inch ride symbol. These are just a few of the British Drum Company drum sets that we have in stock. Be sure to come on in if you're nearby, or if you're not, go to our website and check out the British Drum Company page that we have there. We also specialize in custom orders, so if you don't see it there, then we could probably order it in for you. Just reach out and one of our people can help you with that. We would love to hear your feedback. How do you feel? Which one did you like the most? Are you going to own one soon? Let us know in the comments below. And also, please click that subscribe button, that helps us, and click that bell so that you get notified when we post new videos like this. If you would like to buy any of these drums or these cymbals, go ahead and click the links in the description below. We appreciate the support.